Hey guys, jumping back in uh, to the next part of everything you need to know about Baby Metal. Um, what a great documentary, guys. Uh, learned so much. It's super cool. Um, unbelievable, uh, the information, the wealth of information uh, that's in this. It's great. I love it. Uh, so let's continue. Then we got like probably two more parts that I'll break it up into. Two rendered at the Big Fox Festival show on October 15, 2017, which would unfortunately be the last time Baby Metal performed as its original trio. Before the Legend S Baptism XX show in December 2017, which was to celebrate Sue Metal's 20th birthday, it was announced that Yui Metal was advised by her doctor to not perform at this show due to an undisclosed health issue. They considered cancelling the show, but went ahead as just a duo of Sue Metal and Moa Metal for the first time. This would also be Mikio Fujioka's last performance with Baby Metal before his untimely passing. The show went on exactly as it would've, just without Yui Metal, even having Moa perform the Black Baby Metal songs on her own. Despite Yui Metal not being there to sing her parts in the songs, the crowd helped out and sang them for her. Following this, that's what you call real fans, right there, guys. Uh, you're reeling from that loss. Uh, all this stuff's going on, and wham, the fans pick up the slack. Um, wow. You guys in the foxhole, incredible fans, incredible fans. This show, Baby Metal was about to embark on their 2018 world tour, and no announcements had been made about Yui's status, so fans assumed that Yui Metal would be back, and it would be business as usual. However, this was not the case. They kicked off their US tour in Kansas City, but much to everyone's surprise, Yui Metal was not there, and everything was different. Sue Metal and Moa Metal were now positioned in the center, with two backup dancers off to the sides, Minami Tsuki and Minako Maruyama, who the fans nicknamed Muscle Metal. Moa was also now singing all of Yui's lines, as well as continuing to perform black baby metal songs on her own. The traditional red and black outfits were also replaced in favor of a darker, more mature look. It was not announced until after this first show that Yui Metal would not be participating in the US leg of the world tour. Sue and Moa have discussed in great length how hard the first stretch of shows without Yui was. The reaction to Yui not being there at Legend S was so bad that they thought fans would reject them without Yui and were worried people would boo them off stage and throw things at them. I wanted to know what's it like continuing on without her uh, and do you miss having her around? Uh, it's been difficult, but uh, her departure made a bond between Sue Metal and More Metal uh, even stronger. Despite this, they continued on with the tour, and it went about as well as it could've. On April 1, 2018, Baby Metal posted a mysterious video entitled Metal Resistance Episode 7, The Revelation, which explained that a dark side of Baby Metal exists with seven metal spirits and that a new era is about to begin. In May, another cryptic message was posted on social media stating that no one will know how the Chosen Seven will be presented, only the Fox God knows. Over the next week, they posted a series of images onto their Instagram story, labeled 1 through 7. On May 8, a music video for their new single, Distortion, was released, featuring imagery depicting the Chosen Seven. On October 30, a graphic novel titled Apocrypha, The Legend of Baby Metal, was released by Z2 Comics, telling the fictional story of how Baby Metal came to be. Oh, that's cool. I'm going to have to check that out. I would love to have that and just uh, put it into my music room. Super cool. The first true foray into the dark side of Baby Metal would be at their Dark Knight Carnival show. However, before that, on October 19, 2018, Amuse put out a statement that reads, Yui Metal had expressed her desire to return performing with the group in the following months after last December's performance due to health concerns. However, Yui Metal came to a decision that she will not be performing during the 2018 World Tour in Japan and that she will no longer be a part of Baby Metal. Yui also put out a statement apologizing for her decision and thanking the fans and everyone she had worked with for the last eight years. 
This was the last time anyone has heard from Yui publicly, aside from some brief comments she made in the Sakura Gakuin 10th anniversary book. Yui's statement, quote, I will do my utmost best to be able to again one day meet all of you as Mizuno Yui, has led to fan speculation that Yui will return as a solo artist one day, but nothing has been confirmed by either Yui or Amuse, so this is no more than speculation. Wow, I gotta read this. To all fans, I am truly sorry for the inconvenience I have caused so many people due to being absent for an extended period of time. I have mulled over this over and over again, but I've decided to leave Baby Metal at this time. I feel very sorry that my decision will disturb the other members and some many fans who have supported Baby Metal. I am further terribly sorry to sadden the fans who have supported Baby Metal. I have the strong desire to appear on stage again, but my physical condition is not at its best even now. And further, I feel that I would like to pursue my dream one that I have had from a long time ago, of going on my own as Mizuno Yui. It is these factors that led to my decision. I am thankful for the numerous and precious experiences I was able to have being part of Baby Metal. I always felt day to day that I was truly blessed. The live shows where we all smiled together and became as one were truly happy and enjoyable times. I will do my utmost best to be able to again one day meet all of you as Mizuno Yui. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for the last eight years. Um, wow. Um, you know, guys, um, you got to respect your decision. You know what I mean? Uh, she's having health problems and maybe, maybe, uh, you know, the hardship on the road of traveling and all that, maybe it uh, just wasn't for her. Um, but I think she'll always be a part of the Baby Metal family. Um, you know, such a big part. So, um, I love her, always will. I'll always support her, even as a solo artist. Um, she's just super cool. Both Sue and Moa said they hold no animosity towards their former bandmate. Sue also stated, Yui Metal is like a family member to this group. Although she has left, we'll continue to support her and hope that she can pursue what she'd like to do in the future. Sue and Moa have said that they both still talk to Yui and that she is doing well. Now, we have the first show since the official announcement that Yui would no longer be with Baby Metal and the first true look at the new dark side of Baby Metal, Dark Knight Carnival. While Legend S was meant to represent the light, this show was meant to represent the dark. Dark Knight Carnival was heavily based on the Chosen 7 lore, which is why Sue Metal and Moa Metal were joined on stage by five backup dancers. Including the Muscle Metal Girls, Minami Tsuki and Minako Maruyama, as well as Shoko Akayama, Katono Imori, and Saya Hirai. Throughout the show, various videos played discussing that, when light and dark intersects, the unknown dimension known as the Metal Galaxy forms, which is where the Chosen Seven reside. One of the backup dancers for this show, Saya Hirai, was temporarily used in Yui's old spot for several shows in Southeast Asia and Australia. She did not sing Yui's parts, just filled in the choreography. Baby Metal continued on as just Sue, Moa, and the backup dancers for the rest of the tour. On April 1, 2019, they announced they would be releasing their third album, titled Metal Galaxy, later that year. This album would tie into all the light and dark lore mentioned before. The fox god sends a beam of light that leads to a goddess who must sacrifice herself to the light in order to be reborn as the new messiah. This sacrifice happens at the end of the Legend S show to Sue Metal when she is crucified. After this death, she flies off to use her voice to put lights in the skies in the form of stars. These stars shine down upon the people who become the one. This light when I love how baby metal kind of um they like start all this lower and you know the fox god and they kind of make their band mystical, you know what I mean? Um it's super cool. Uh everything they do is just super cool. Um But it's so intricate, if that makes sense to you guys. It's not just um a band going out playing, dancing around. It's just so intricate with um, 
you know, adding everything they add to make the band more mystical. It's, it's, it's incredible. Nobody liked this band anywhere. Paired with Dark Ever. Night Carnival creates an intersection between the light and the dark, which then forms the metal galaxy. Baby Metal also revealed plans for their first arena concert in the United States at the Forum in Los Angeles, California on October 11. This show was later revealed to coincide with the release of Metal Galaxy. However, before that, two shows were announced for June. Alright guys, we're going to leave off here and pick it up tomorrow. Uh, it's a lot of information to absorb. Um, but what an incredible band. You know, and watching this has just made me uh, love them more because I didn't really realize that they were that intricate. I mean, you know, the band's intricate, but... Um, again, when you start adding all these elements to it um, to make it more mysterious, you know what I mean? Um, it just makes it even cooler. So, all right, guys. Well, have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow for the last part, and then we can jump into, uh, well, some baby metal. I am really looking forward to that, too, guys. Um, this is going to be a heck of a journey.